Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today it is early, 10 a.m. and the girls are getting a lesson in fence building. So you guys know we recently got Sylvia a new pony, a miniature horse, mini baby for her birthday. And today she's getting her very own little paddock. She is going to be integrated into the herd eventually. But for now, while she's on isolation, she'll have her own little paddock. And also, uh, while she's getting used to the herd and while the herd is getting used to her, they'll be side by side and getting used to each other through a fence. That's our plan. Let's go see how school is going in the paddock. School in your pajamas, friends. What? What? Her new little field for now. Her little, new little field for now. It's tiny. <laughs> She's it's tiny. tiny. Yeah. All right, let's go take her for her daily little exercise. Are we taking her anywhere? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sam's building her a little temporary paddock. And every day we take her for exercise uh, so many times. And, Sophie takes and, her walking. She's doing so great walking on a lead rope. Yeah, she is. It's so much warmer in the barn. You're probably warm here. <laughs> Sophie's a little hyper. Home. It is 10 degrees in the barn. So we're using like a bunch of gates and stuff that we already have. Like that one over there. Somewhere. Let me just close. Horses are outside having breakfast. But oh man, I came out of the house and I could hear like this horrible squealing. I uh, look over and Penny and Chino are beside each other. At the trail, she, he was her best friend. And now at home, I don't know what she's trying to say. Hold on, let me move that. No, I don't like it. I'm strong. I'm stronger than you. So anyway, we let her in the arena. Maybe not. We let her in the arena. We take her for walks. We and that's all. Her, we, pick up her feet. we pick up her feet. We brush her. What we else do we do? Do anything. Yeah, we. we so lucky for us, the lady where we got Willow is like a very renowned, amazing horsewoman, and she okay. has a miniature. She's like a miniature breeder. She. So she's been helping us through the whole entire process. She's been helping us with everything. It's been wonderful having her. Plus, I have other friends too. But my friend that is the mini horse breeder. Oh, she laid down? Yeah, her back's covered in shadings. Oh, her back is covered in shadings. But anyways, our friend that is a mini horse breeder um, for, for many, 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 many years that we where we got Willow, um, she has, she has been the wealth of information for us. Such a wealth of information. She's available so often. Anyway, she's mentoring Sophie and I, and anytime we have any problems, we can message her. And then she also uh, is giving us all this information and all this help. And luckily with, with social media and the way the world is set up now, we have so much opportunity to like have help online. Yeah, she's doing so good. She never even was a halter broke before. Hey, can you close that door? Sure. I've been watching the kings and queens caught up in careless dreams.
I consider this the honeymoon period because she doesn't have any friends yet. Like she doesn't have any other horses to be with. So Sophie's her person. So she, so Sophie is her person, but once she gets integrated in the herd and she's feeling more confident and she's like all settled in, she's gonna like be her regular baby self and have her baby moments and like babies are definitely not easy. Push it. What about Winnie? What about Winnie? She's gonna be making videos on her channel. If you don't know what her channel is, what's your channel? <laughs> Sophie's Life, yeah, we haven't posted on it for so long. She's gonna be posting videos on her channel on her birthday, on her 13th birthday. It's one of the things that she's excited about. And she's gonna be updating you guys on her little shadow. Oh, shadow, if she was dark. <laughs> Cause she is Sophie's shadow right now. What is her name? What is her name? No, don't tell her what her. What? Yeah. So she's gonna do a video updating everything about this new little mini. We're headed out in a few minutes to get her a new bridle. Halter. Halter. Um, she can't wear a bridle yet. I'm mm -mm. Well, she, well, maybe she can wear a bridle without the bit part. Okay. So what is her breed? We'll give them one clue. Blanket Appaloosa. Yeah. Her parents are both Blanket Appaloosas. Uh, there's possibility that underneath that adorable baby fluff she's got a blanket of spots all across her butt this time that we have right now where Sophie has to watch her all the time where we she's on isolation she came from another little herd and um, are like moments that we'll never ever get back even though we're in the barn at the crack of dawn we do late night checks on her we're like working with her all the time like coming down and checking on her letting her out letting her run taking her outside all this time, even though it's like so much work, we'll never get this back. Like, it's worth it. It is so worth it to be, it's so worth it to be able to spend this time with her. And I'm excited for a time when she is integrated into our herd, but for now, it's worth it. truck now until tomorrow morning but for sure it'll be done today I didn't want them to drive at like 8 o'clock at night so I said just drop it off in the morning did they give you time they're gonna drop it off no nope. they'll tell me when they leave but they're gonna leave early in the morning that way they beat traffic and stuff Toronto lots of traffic is that what they said yeah well they said they could drop it off it should be done by 6 but by the time they get here it'll be like 9 o'clock I said Drop off in the morning. At this point, there's no rush as long as it's here this week. Oh, oh my gosh, she's rolling! Her first roll at home! And a good shake. You guys know that means she's not colicking. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? But she didn't buck and run. She's adorable. So we're using horse gates there. The horse gates that we have. Fencing. Is that, horse yeah. Gate, yeah. Horse gate, horse fencing. And that's gonna be here a little tiny area. I really like it. Are you gonna be able to put like a little gate or no? Yeah, I like it. It's gonna be fine. It's a tiny little area, but we need to know that she's safe and not getting into stuff. We need to know that she is safe from other creatures too. Like we just wanna make sure that she's safe. We're gonna take you guys with us to the tech store to get 
uh, baby, po the baby pony, uh, new halter and lead rope because the one that she has is bothering her. It hangs down. We tried tucking it in and it doesn't work. So, uh, we want to get her one that fits her better. And um, we're going to take you guys with us. But while we travel there, I'm going to show you guys some footage that happened on the weekend when we were at a trail ride. My friend sent me a message today saying that when she got lost in a trail, she told, let her horse direct them back to home. Let their horse direct them back to the trailer. And her horse did not. He led her to the biggest, beaut most beautiful grass field that he could find. And I said, that's so funny. I'm going to show you guys what Penny did when we were confused about what direction to go on the trail. It's such a good clip. I'm going to show it. I'm glad I get to use it and show you guys what my mare does when we're lost in the woods. And then we'll catch up with you guys at the tech store. This saddle is so much better. <laughs> so Jen, I'm taking Jen on a gated horse ride because she hasn't, well she had, you have a gated horse, right? Uh, well, not that, where she is gated. What way? She can't ride this way. Straight? Will you, you, you tell her where to go because she's, yeah. I just got her here in case. You know what? This saddle is so much better too. Yeah, it's definitely comfy, but I don't know. I, I've ridden in comfier. We're on a pee break. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't look. <laughs> oh my gosh, it would not be a day by day vlog unless there was poop or pee. <laughs> Come on. That's crazy. So we came to this little intersection. I've got Jen. And we were gonna go the other way. Whoa, wait. And we're standing there. She's looking this way. Oh, see, she's getting feisty. She's looking this way. She's looking that way. We're getting ready to go the wrong way. And she turns her body around, faces this way, and I see Sam. And I'm like, yeah, you were right. They say horses always know the way home. First started riding. I'm like, stop, Penny. Let's wait for them to catch up because she wanted to go. And I could not stop her. I was like, everything I could to stop her. Gently, because she's not dangerous, so I don't have to like pull back really hard or anything. And she would not stop. Like, I had to work for it. We get back to the trailer, and I whisper, whoa, she stops dead. <laughs> All right, so we're here, and we have an idea. I love light pink, too. I think she's perfect for light pink. So like I said, we don't know what color she's going to be. She's an Appaloosa, but we don't know if she'll have spots. Both her parents are blanket Appaloosas. I like this pink, or I like this pink. But they don't have... I like that pink too. Alright, that'll at least fit her. Because... Yeah, she showed them to me. She has wheels. This is the smile we broke because it's ten dollars and this one here is twelve ninety-nine. So what do you want? The smaller one. Are you sure? Here's the bigger one. Is it the same color? Uh oh, same color as that. I think, is it? I'd really like a rope halter for her. Like that one's so pretty. Yeah, so there is a place that, that has like leather halters that you can use that you can get for minis. Like there are, oh, that's adorable. Hold on, let me grab it. So we really wanted a Lemieux one and we probably will get a Lemieux one, just we have to order it because they don't have the mini size here. Look at it, it looks smaller than the other ones. No, it's bigger. Oh my gosh, I love that color. These ones, look, they have different colors here. They have a polka dot one. And if she's like an Appaloosa. I got a whole two to match this. I need to get that. Ooh, this I is like pretty. the pink. Yeah, we have one like that. This one's cute too. Oh, but this one's really cute. I like that color of pink. Do they have any other tiny ones? Or is that the only small one? Well, they have a black one. But like... Yeah, we don't want black. All right, let's go look at blankets. Sam wants me to get another one of these. Because, yeah, because he's already almost done. This shirt is actually adorable and so soft. I love that. You guys love that? But they have nice vest and we're going trail riding again. I could like look cool. And I kind of like that coat. Pony section. Still like this one. You still like this one? So, 
You don't know what size, you don't she, know what is, size so. she is. That's perfect. Oh, I love that one up there. That's adorable. We want to have a blanket for her just in case it gets like wet and then really, really cold. And even though this is like boyish, we like it because it's got this really nice belly band and it's Velcro instead of clips. Yeah, like that's, I love a blanket with a belly band I feel like, like that. It's better for her because I can just quickly velcro it up. Yeah, we if don't. She's like walking around and excited. Oh man, I'm nervous about this. So I need to pick new stir stirrups, you guys, and I need help to decide. I like these, but the girls say they're kids. I like that they have like the grip. And I like that they're, they're, the pink ones. like the ones that I have are so rigid like this. They're awful. Like, they're no, so rigid. Nice. Yeah, but they're rigid. I hate the feel of them. I can't, like. What, you want this? Um, I don't know. It's interesting. That's soft. These are heavy. I would never do that to my horse. I feel like you I like, get these. I like these. Oh, my foot fits in it. Perfect. Oh, these are nice. Oh, Mom, my foot fits in this perfect, too. <laughs> I like these. You should get these ones. I mean, I know that these are for kids. But I love them. I like them. I like those a lot better than, like, the big, huge ones. I also want a really nice saddlebag. Like, we have this kind. I want, want a, this? No, I want a this leather one. This goes over one. their butt. I want a leather one. Like, a really cute leather one. I think I've shown these hats before. But it's, like, a winter hat. And then... It's a light. So like when you're out on, in the night in the barn, we almost need that now. It's so cute. It's freezing out here though. So Chino came in out of the rain and Gabby put on his nice, beautiful blanket. Is that Storms or his? I love like a windy, cold afternoon in the barn. So um, Sophie's going to do a little quick haul for you guys. This is all for her birthday. I told her like this has to be for your birthday. You guys know Sam bought her something for her birthday that was a lot of money and he's gonna save it for Christmas. I already told her that what Sam bought, what her dad bought her, she's not having for her birthday because she got this instead and it'll have to wait for Christmas. So she got the pony for her Christmas and then she got all this stuff for her birthday. She got the pony for her birthday and then she got all this stuff. Does it fit her? Does it fit? Yeah. The lady at the store is like, nobody buys these. They're too small. Are all the doors closed? Yeah, so let her out. They don't fit anybody. It does look kind of tight, actually, does it? It's like the baby clothes. Anyway, that's the one that she's having right now. She'll grow out of it, I'm sure, but we have... Look at the tennis swing. She's afraid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what you're doing there, girly. Hopefully you're not scared of that. You want to <laughs> you're in jail. She's just... <laughs> she was putting you in jail, Gabby. How dare you do that? I love that we can expose her to so, so many things. <laughs> she like red. Chino's like, oh, I knew something fishy was going on in this barn. Last night, Penny saw her over there, at, over the bar, and she was, oh, so she cute. was just shaking. Yeah, that's the perfect color for her. I didn't even love the color, but it's perfect. Okay, so tell them what we got. So we got two things, and we don't know if they're gonna fit. Gabby, we might need you to help. This she drinks everybody's water. It looks too big. Oh, that's good. If it's a little bit big, hi. <laughs> oh, Sophie got her this adorable cooler for when she's in the barn. That could fit Chino's neck. Yeah, that could fit Chino's neck. It's a size Chino. 30. It's a size 30. Yep, too small. Well, no, it's perfect. Nope, too small. Too small for Chino's neck. Too small for Chino's neck. Oh, we got the smallest size that you could get, and they're still a bit big. All right, so here it is. Uh, can you fix? We'll have to tighten that little butt strap. So this brand, it doesn't believe in uh, leg straps for tiny horses, but that's her cooler. We also stocked up on shavings. Gabby's bringing them in. And we ended up getting her this blanket. 
And like I said, we're not going to put it on her like all the time just to have it on her. We're only going to put it on when the weather's really bad. Hopefully, like that's the goal. The blanket that we got, it's also a size 30 and swims on her. And it has a neck. So I don't know if she'll wear it. I don't know if she will, but I think she'll definitely wear that one. Here we go. This is it. Let's get that poo out of there. So also Sam bought this little tire. We got a little chain. We're gonna get her a water bucket. Yeah, let her go. Uh-oh, see this is what I'm scared of. It's just easier, she doesn't like to eat in the lead. Willow, this is yours. Willow, it's your baby. Don't you know that you're beautiful?